What's up y'all and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I will be showing you guys how I attempt to color my hair a blonde color just to transition the bald edges. Uh, I figured dyeing it black would make the edges stand out more and make my forehead protrude even bigger than what it already is. And that is not the goal that we're trying to achieve on today. So what we're trying to do is lift my natural black colored hair uh, up to maybe a honey blonde, something that is going to match the scalp of my scalp tone. I'm trying to come up out of the wigs and wear my natural hair, but I know in the current state that it's in right now, the shape, everything that's going on with the hair right now, I would never wear this hair out. So I'm just trying to figure out ways us ladies with uh, alopecia edges can come up with um, you know, nice presentable ways to look when we're going out in public. That way we don't always have to throw on that girl in the back and be back there, those alopecia wigs. So uh, this was my way of thinking. If I was to lighten my natural colored hair, it would kind of mask the bald edges and it'll make me feel a little bit more confident than to dye my hair jet black, which is going to make the problem area stand out even more with darker hair. That's not what I want. I'm go in. And we're just gonna attempt to color our hair. Now, this is the first time I've ever in my life dyed my natural hair. I've never dyed my hair, I've always been black. But I figure, you know, I wear a lot of wigs and if it doesn't turn out the way I want, <laughs> I can just always slap on a wig and no one will ever never know. But we're trying to make sure that this turns out right for the first time. So I'm just going in with my pick right now. I'm just detangling my natural hair, just getting any bumps, lumps, tangles, kinks, whatever out of the hair. Because I want this first time application to be a success. First time. So I can go in and just dye it the way it is. But I'm going to try to give my hair just a little shape to it. So for the back of the hair the back of my hair I'm kind of gonna taper it using the scissors uh, a little closer to my nape area because you can see it's kind of long in the back so I kind of want it to be like a taper if you can visualize that it being uh, shorter at the bottom and then having the volume uh, graduate towards the top of the hair so I'm just gonna cut upward in an angle just tapering the bottom closer towards my nape area and we'll just kind of cut about that much off. And that's where the video, end of this video, I'll go back in after I get the dye and everything in my hair and I will give a quick lineup. So y'all get the picture now, right? So we're trying to lighten our hair to mask our alopecia edges. So this is the technique that I'm coming up with right here fresh in front of y'all on this camera screen. Uh, so just as you guys are viewing it, it's how I plan on doing it step by step in front of y'all today. I'm ready to wear my hair. I'm ready to break free of these lace frontal wigs. I'm ready to just go out in public and rock me and do me, but I can't do it feeling insecure about myself. So I wanna spruce myself up just a little bit and try to make myself look good. So the products we are gonna be using is the uh, Clairol Professional uh, BW2 uh, Powder Lightener. I'm going to use them probably maybe half the pack of this. And I'm going to go in with the Clairol Pure White uh, 40 volume developer. And we're just going to be using both of these two products. And we're going to leave it on our hair for maybe 10 minutes. It probably says to leave on here 20 to 30 minutes. But that's probably going to be way too long to, for my hair to be processed. My hair is virgin hair. It's never, it doesn't have any chemicals, anything in it. I'm all natural. I'm sure my hair will live faster than that. So we're just going to eyeball it. After about five, seven minutes of me applying the product, I'm going to leave it on my hair and then I'm going to come back and we're going to check it to see what it's looking like. Okay. All right. So let me go ahead and get this little mixture mixed up for us. I do have a mixing bowl and a applicator brush that we're going to be applying this with. I'm going to put on my gloves that I have here handy. And then we're going to go in and we're going to base our hairline uh, with the Vaseline all around the ears, the back of the nape, the forehead, and the down along the side of our edges so that we don't want a chemical burn. So make sure y'all have some kind of petroleum jelly on hand and base y'all scalp. 
All right, so this is like, the, I'm, I'm nervous. <laughs> I am so nervous, y'all. This is the first time I've ever done this. My fiance is at work. I am off today, so I'm just here creating this DIY for my fans, for my viewers, for y'all. And I don't know how this is going to turn out. So I hope the first time around, this time around, it will turn out cute. So let me go ahead and I'm not, like I said, I ain't gonna use the whole pack. I don't think I have another, a lot of hair to use the whole pack. So I'll start out with just like half the pack. Yeah, I believe it's not like down here. Hell, I think that's more than half actually. I'll, I'll save this just in case I missed some spots and some spots were missed during this first application. I'll use that to go back in a second time and then we'll color correct. So taking some of the 40 volume developer, I'm just eyeballing it, no, no proper measurements over here. We just wing it. I'm gonna start off with about that much. Let's get this thing mixed up. And you want to give it a good mixture. You don't want it too runny, too soupy. Kind of want it a semi-medium paste. And I'm hoping this turned out so cute because my hair being black, you can see the bald edges standing out really, really well. And that's what I don't want to happen. So we're just gonna lighten our hair up. So now this is the consistency. It's not too runny, but it's not super, super thick. So we're gonna, we're gonna go with that. I'm gonna go ahead and put on my gloves because I don't want chemicals all over my hands. And I'm gonna take a sip of my wine, y'all, because I'm nervous. I don't know what this is gonna do for me, but hopefully my baby will like it when he see me. It's supposed to be having like a little seafood thing this evening. So I hope that this is not gonna be a total flop. And I hope he's not disappointed in the final results. I hope I'm not disappointed in the final results. Hopefully this turned out cute. Like I said, I ain't never dyed my hair a day in my life. I've always wore weave and if I wanted to change my hair color, I always change the hair, the weave never dyed my own natural hair so i'm excited to see what this is gonna turn out to be make sure y'all get around them ears y'all want these chemical burns go around the back of the neck be very generous section below let me know what y'all think let me remove my earrings just letting me know if y'all think that this is a great idea like who's ever came up with this people know with alopecia and you know gray hairs in their head like i have they are quick to grab just a black dye a black rinse and and you know throw it in their hair but if you think about it you kind of want to dye your hair the lighter color like your scalp and it will kind of mask the bald areas at least that's my logic that's my philosophy that's what i'm going with hopefully it makes sense to y'all because it makes total sense to me so we're just gonna jump right in all right so i got my towel y'all just want to protect your clothes and protect your neck and any other areas you don't want a lot of spills and everything all over the place and making a huge mess and i'm going to just take my little hair clip and we'll just clip this closed. Done. All right, so going back in with our mixture, make sure everything has been mixed up very well. I'm just gonna start applying it. Oh my God, y'all, I'm so nervous. I've never ever in my lifetime dyed my natural hair. <laughs> never, ever. Make sure you get around your hairline very well because that's where, that's the first part. When people look at you, that's the first thing they're gonna see first is your hairline. Just run it through, try to be careful not to drop this in your eye, not to waste it in your eye. You definitely don't want that. Make sure you get the hair behind the ears. leave 
no black spots, no black areas. And you want to work fast because virgin hair processes pretty quickly. I'm so nervous. I'm hoping this turns out super cute. Let me know if y'all think that this is a good idea. Have y'all ever thought about trying to figure out a color that matches your scalp in order to mask your alopecia edges? Drop me a comment down in the comment section below. I mean, I think that this idea is like super freaking genius. I'm trying to work kind of quick because I don't want the hair to start, you know, lifting before I can get the product all the way through. So I'm just going in, creating little sections, and I'm trying to get, get the product down to the root. Don't get discouraged just yet. You're just not getting the product in. You don't know how it's going to look. This is kind of trial and error. That's why it's a DIY. You're going to see a lot of DIYs on this channel. So if that's something that y'all like, something that y'all are interested in, and if you're not already subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and do so because I have plenty more ideas coming to hair problems and noises. Oh my God, I can see my hair lifting already. Look at this. Ooh, y'all keep working, keep working, keep working, keep working, keep going. Try to apply the product pretty quickly because as you can see, my hair is already starting to change very fast. It's not taking my little TWA no time to lift. Be sure to get down to the nape. As you can see, your hair growing down your neck. Make sure you get all the way to the bottom of your nape. <laughs> oh my God, I've never dyed my hair. This is nuts to me. And I'm gonna go ahead and take my comb and just start running the product through just to make sure it's been evenly distributed throughout the whole TWA. And I'm okay with some black still showing through. If it's all I'm not gonna dye one color at the same time, I'm okay with, you know, having on some spots of black here and there, but the goal is to try to uh, lighten the whole head at one time. So yeah, 30 minutes, this dye is not gonna be in my hair that long because I can already see it's lifting pretty fast. I don't think I'm gonna need it to be on my head that long. Ooh, I can see the front of this getting really, really light. All right, so now I got this all combed through my hair. It's all the way down on the nape. I got everything covered. I think I've gotten behind the ears. Okay, so now I'm gonna remove my gloves and we're gonna bag the hair. It's still like 20 to 30 minutes. I'm only gonna leave this on my hair for like seven because it's already getting light and I don't want it to be brassy. So I'm gonna put a bag on. I am going to come back to you and show you where the process is at in three minutes. So just give me a few seconds, I'll be right here. It's changing so fast, I don't want it to uh, get over processed. Ooh. So this is what the hair is looking like after three minutes of just having this on my head. I think I might be okay with this. Yes, because I don't want it really, really brassy. I don't want it really super, super blonde. I think this is a good tone to match my scalp. So if... I have achieved what I think I've achieved. Your girl is a genius. In order to figure that part out, 
I'm gonna go off camera, get this rinsed out my hair, and then I'm gonna come back and show y'all what it's looking like. So before I do that, I have some little remnants still left in here. I've always seen girls dye their hair, but they never freaking dye their eyebrows. So I'm gonna put some of this on my eyebrows just to see. I'm going kind of for our ombre effect. Of course, lighter in the front. Graduated to dark on the tail end, so I'm not going to color that part right there because my little wing that I'm going to have is probably going to be uh, a dark brown. So I'm going to fade the front out. And this is a, like, a little bonus. So While these are sitting, I'm going to go ahead and get this rinsed out. And then after I rinse my hair out, I'm gonna rinse my brows out because I don't want them like ghostly looking either. So I'll be right back and I'll show y'all show y'all what it's hitting for once I get all of this out. I'll be right back. All right, y'all, I am back. As you can see, I put a little of that lightener on my brows, the little brows that I do have. I didn't let them go for a really, really long time because I just wanted them to lighten up a little bit so they don't look so harsh with my new hair color. So if y'all are ready to see what this new hair color is hitting for, y'all better drop me a comment down in the comment section below because your girl just went through some ish, and I mean some ish, to get to this hair stage. Go ahead and remove this and let's see who we working with. I did uh, go off camera and shampoo <laughs> with my Afro G's shampoo for damaged hair oh my god y'all and i'm gonna go in with this balance and moisturizer because your hair just went through some trauma and this is the afrogy oh my god as you can see i'm still bald but it's not as pronounced as it was when my hair was black so this is what i'm talking about y'all if you can dye your hair to kind of transition with your alopecia edges then you'd be able to go outside in confidence and rock your natural hair and won't give a care in the world oh, let me go in with this voice balancing moisturizer and this is a uh, intense moisture to improve mobility softens and shines the hair it restores the ph balance in the hair strands and it hydrates the hair strands as well so because we use that uh bw2 lightener and the 40 volume developer developer excuse me we are going to go in with this voice balancing moisturizer to bring our ph balance in our hair back to normal and i'm just gonna go all in with this because your hair has gone through a lot of trauma lifting it to this color so you definitely don't want to shyst yourself on the product and so, like, I'm going to let my hair go like this for about a week. After a week, I will be uh, coming back to y'all creating another video. And I'm going to do the Afro G two-step protein treatment. Because once you do all of this trauma to your hair, you need to put protein back in your hair. Make sure your hair strands aren't going to be damaged. They're not going to start breaking and splitting. And your hair is not going to start shedding on you. So, you definitely want to do Afro G's two-step protein treatment once you have lifted your hair this light <clears throat> and i'm gonna let this pro this uh, balancing moisturizer sit on my hair for about like an hour y'all like literally no shade no bullshit i'm letting this stay on my hair for a minute because that powder can be very drying and brittle to your natural hair and in order to avoid that this step is critical I love it. I actually love my hair, this color. I don't know why I do, I just love it. My mom is gonna be so proud of me because she's always been telling me that dark hair was way too harsh for my skin tone. She was telling me I should have always went blonde like long time ago and I'm like, ah, I ain't no blonde. Mom. I don't wanna go blonde, but I'm thinking, she knew what she was talking about all this time. I want to <laughs> add more oils to my hair. I'm going to go in with this uh, extra virgin olive oil. And it's just plain extra virgin olive oil that I got from my um, local beauty supply store. I did make a rosemary extra virgin olive oil with rosemary essential oil, peppermint oil, and 
um, tea tree oil. I did do a hair growth serum that I uh, apply to my edges every day to help me start growing my alopecia edges back. So if you'd like to see that video, it's also on my channel as well. But this is just extra virgin olive oil. And I'm gonna put some of this in my hair. And then we're gonna bag our hair and let it sit on my hair for about an hour like I stated prior because I'm trying to prevent my hair from breaking, from shedding, from becoming brittle and dry. Like I said, I've never been a blonde, so I'm taking extra precaution. I'm like baby in my hair. I'm gonna go ahead and get my bag. Now this is a different bag. This is not the same bag that had the, uh, the uh, lightener in it. This is a brand new bag that I just got from up underneath the cupboard over there. And we're just gonna let this sit on our head. Pushing some of that air out, creating a nice moist environment. I do have low porosity hair, so me bagging it and creating a moist environment is going to uh, lift my cuticles on my hair strands. It's going to allow the uh, balancing moisturizers to penetrate the hair strands and bring the pH back to the hair faster. And please, please, please don't forget to put the uh, balancing moisturizer on your eyebrows because you did put the lightener on them and you don't want your eyebrows or anything to start falling out. So you don't want to shice those either. So I'm just putting a little bit of this moisturizer on my brows. That way my brows will stay nice and healthy. The little bit that I do have left. <laughs> In the meantime, I'm gonna go ahead and clean up, wash some dishes, straighten up, and then I'll be back after an hour and we'll style and we'll finish up this video. See y'all in a little while. All right, y'all, I am back. This is the finished product. As you can see, my theory and my philosophy of dyeing uh, our natural hair to match our skin tone, alopecia bald edges actually work. It's not as defined as it was when my hair was black. So now that my hair is now honey blonde, my edges does not seem so pronounced and defined and it's not so noticeable to know that my edges aren't all the way there. So it's kind of camouflaging my edges. This was the uh, look I was going for. This is the style that I was going for. As you can see, the edges are there. They didn't look like they were there when my hair was black, but this was the idea that I had in my head and I'm so happy I did it. I can go out in public now and I just feel great. I feel amazing. True enough, right here in the middle of my head, I have a black patch that I am totally okay with. Within another day or two, I will probably go back in with that uh, 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 BW2 lightener and go ahead and cor color correct them just the center of my head right here. But as of right now, this turned out just how I thought it was gonna turn out. So your girl is ready to hit the streets. Hopefully you guys like this video. I am going to step out for the first time, rocking my TWA Honey Blonde, and I love it. I am so in love with this look right now. This was what I had envisioned, and it totally came to full fruition. I am so happy. So this is my outfit of the day. Black and smart, which I am. And the smartest thing that I could have ever done was to create this look on my alopecia edges. So hopefully you guys have learned something today. Hopefully you enjoyed this look. And hopefully you guys will go out and try it. Match your skin tones up with lighteners and things that will bring definition to your hair and not bring attention to your problem areas. So this worked for me. Hopefully it'll work for you guys and if you enjoyed this video go ahead and subscribe for more DIYs for more uh, routines regiments and Hair growth routines Go ahead and subscribe to this channel. Thank you guys for watching. Everything turned out great I'll go ahead and color correct at a later date 
I'm just about to go outside. I'm ready to tackle the world for them to see the brand new me. Thank you guys for watching. You guys are a team player. And I hope you guys will stay tuned to my next video. And I'll check you guys out in my next one. Thank you.